Hey friends, <coughs> since uh, this is the continuation of last class, you have to go through, before watching this video, you have to go through uh, the previous one for better understanding. Okay. In this class, I am going to express the significance of two non-hermitian operators A and A dagger which we defined in last class. Okay. Uh, for that, I am taking the commutator of N A and we know N is the number operator and uh, that is equal to A dagger A, A dagger A A commutator and we know the property of commutator bracket. Uh, we need to take this one a into left side it become a dagger of a a plus we need to take this uh, this a into right side uh, a dagger a that we will get this will be equal to 0 because a a minus a a equal to 0 okay so the remaining term is uh, commutator of a dagger a into a that is equal to minus a because we know the commutator we, we have uh, derived the commutator of a a dagger equal to 1 so a dagger commutator of a dagger commutator of a dagger a should be equal to minus 1 in that way we will get this is equal to minus 1 and uh, uh, similarly in a dagger we are uh, when we are finding the commutator of n a dagger we will get uh, that is equal to a dagger and let me put this as equation equation 7 and equation 8 okay and now i need to define n a dagger in mm, a dagger in this way this is in the form of a commutator of a and b okay commutator of a and b is a b minus b a in that way i define this one in a dagger minus a dagger n okay if you are taking this term a dagger in a in n into left side then we will get n a dagger plus a dagger n equal to n a dagger so instead of this operator we can use instead of this operator we can use n commutator of n a dagger plus a dagger n okay so i am using this operator uh, 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 to operate on n on the eigenket n we know n is the eigenket of the number operator okay n operating on n we will get the eigenvalue n uh, we will get the eigenvalue n okay so n is the eigenket of number operator with eigenvalue n so uh, here i am going to operate with n a dagger n a dagger n equal to i am using this equation 9 here that is n a dagger plus a dagger n operating on n okay and from equation from equation 8 we know we can understand uh, n a dagger commutator of n a dagger equal to a dagger plus a dagger n operating on n that we can expand in this way a dagger n uh, plus a dagger uh, a dagger when we are operating uh, n with n we will get the eigenvalue n uh, on uh, uh, and the eigenket n okay and that is equal to we can write a dagger into 1 plus n uh, and the eigenket n so uh, this is the equation n a dagger operating on n equal to n plus 1 a dagger n okay so uh, look at this uh, look at this equation uh, uh, this number operator if we are operating a dagger on n we will get another ket okay we will get another ket uh, when we are operating with a dagger on n so this can understand uh, in this way that is this is the number operator n this is the number operator n and a dagger n is the icon kit of this number operator n with eigenvalue n plus 1 okay similarly uh, when we are finding the n a operating on n we will get n minus 1 a n so if or a is operating on n we will get another ket we will get another ket and if we are operating with the number operator n on that ket we will get an eigenvalue n minus 1 okay and we know we defined n is the number operator and its eigenket is n with eigenvalue n okay so here this n a dagger n look at this this a dagger n is the eigenket is also the eigenket of number operator n with an eigenvalue n plus 1 and a n is also the eigenket of n with the number operator n minus 1 that this equation 10 and 11 uh, which is proving okay so we understood uh, n is the eigenket of number operator with eigenvalue n and a dagger n is the uh, eigenket of number operator n with eigenvalue n plus 1 and a n is also the eigenket of n with eigenvalue n minus 1 and uh, 
that we have derived and that is equation 10 and 11. Now from that equation 10 and 11 we understood these are the eigengates of number operator n with this eigenvalues. Okay. Now we know this step. Uh, we have derived this one. H operates on uh, kit n that is equal to operator h and number operator the relation between the operator h and number operator is n plus half h cross omega if you are doing that one we will get n plus half h cross omega this is the eigenvalue this is the eigenvalue en when h or Hamiltonian operates on eigenket n okay now let us verify what will happen if the uh, Hamiltonian operator operates on ket a dagger n okay ket a dagger n that is equal to Hamiltonian, we know that is n plus half h cross omega and this is get n uh, a dagger n and that is equal to h cross omega h cross omega n a dagger n plus half h cross omega a dagger n we just expand this stuff okay and that is equal to h cross omega if n operates on a dagger n if n operates on a dagger n we will get an eigenvalue n plus 1 okay so uh, we got an eigenvalue n plus 1, a dagger n plus half h cross omega, a dagger n. We can write uh, that uh, that is equal to n plus 1 plus half h cross omega, a dagger n. Okay. So, uh, this is the new eigenvalue. New eigenvalue means, uh, from this step, we can understand a dagger n is the eigenket of Hamiltonian operator with an eigenvalue n plus 1 plus half h cross omega. Okay, then we can write like this n plus half h cross omega plus h cross omega a dagger n and we know when Hamiltonian operates on the ket n we will get n plus half h cross omega as energy eigen ket. So uh, from this step what happened uh, from this step this uh, eigen ket shifted into another ket a dagger n when this eigenket shifted into eigenket a dagger n the energy eigenvalue shifted into energy eigenvalue has raised one unit h cross omega okay when the eigenket n shifted into a dagger n the energy eigenvalue raised by one unit h cross omega similarly if you are doing if you are doing hamiltonian operator hamiltonian on uh, if you are doing Hamiltonian on H on uh, A N, we will get we will get energy eigenvalue as E N E N tends to E N minus H cross omega. That means uh, when the eigenket N shifts into A N, then the energy eigenvalue will be lowered by one unit H cross omega. So that's why the term annihilation operator annihilation operator a is appropriate for a dagger and that's the term uh, sorry this is the creation operator that's the term creation operator is appropriate for the uh, for this a dagger and the annihilation operator is lowering operator lowering the energy eigen ket by energy eigen ket by 1 h cross omega and this a dagger is raising the energy uh, eigenvalue by 1 h cross omega that's why the term that's why the term uh, creation operator for a dagger and annihilation operator for a is appropriate okay look at this equation uh, the number operator n operates on a n that is equal to n minus 1 is the eigenvalue a n okay so this is similar as we are getting the we are getting an eigenvalue n minus 1 this is similar as n is operating on a ket n minus 1 equal to n minus 1 is the eigenvalue eigenvalue and the similar ket n minus 1 okay uh, so we can understand that the ket a n the ket a n is similar to the ket n minus 1 up to a multiplicative constant c okay we are taking a constant uh, a numerical constant c uh, which uh, uh, we used or the necessity of c is uh, c should normalize this a n this ket a n and as well as this uh, n minus 1 okay and uh, we are taking the inner product of a n and a dagger n ket a n and bra a dagger n 
So we are getting n a dagger n equal to n minus 1 c star c n minus 1 that is equal to mod c square inner product of n minus 1 that should be equal to 1 and then uh, in right side it's uh, c square and in left side n and this a dagger a is a uh, number operator so we will get a dagger a n into n and if you are operating n on n we will get the eigen value n and inner product of n equal to c square that is n equal to mod c square by convention we are taking the c as real and positive values so we will get c equal to root n so if we put this value in this equation we will get a n equal to root n into uh, root n get n minus 1 so what is this annihilation operators doing this is shifting this uh, get this is shifting this get into uh, get n minus 1 okay with a root n and similar uh, similarly if you are considering the equation n into a dagger n equal to n plus 1 a dagger n we can understand that this get this get is equal to this get is similar as get n plus 1 up to a multiplicative constant c and uh, uh, by uh, doing the similar steps we can derive a dagger n equal to root n plus 1 uh, n plus 1 get n plus 1 okay the steps which we uh, which I derived uh, till this equation uh, is showing here and you can go through this I'm not uh, very I'm, I'm not explaining this one because this is similar steps uh, like this one okay okay this is the operation of annihilation operator a on get n that will provide under root n into get n minus 1 okay if we keep on applying this annihilation operator on the both sides of this equation uh, we will get a is applying a n that is equal to under root n a over n minus 1 that will provide if we operate a on n minus 1 that will give under root n minus 1 into get n minus 2 and that is a square n a into uh, a into a n is a square n equal to under root n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 and a cube n will provide under root n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 get n minus 3 okay that means uh, we obtain the numerical operator eigen gets with smaller and smaller values with smaller and smaller and smaller values of n with smaller and smaller values of n until it terminates okay at some particular point this uh, sequence will terminate now let me verify some of the values uh, with, uh, uh, some of the values of n and how this operations behave okay first let me put n equal to minus 1 that will provide a minus 1 equal to under root under root kit minus 2 okay then I will put n equal to 0 that will provide uh, a 0 equal to under root 0 under root 0 0 minus 1 so here if 1 is 0 is there so that will uh, that will be equal to 0 and if we take a square 0 if, we, if, if I take a square 0 that is equal to that is equal to uh, a square 0 I mean 0 into 0 minus 1 okay one zero will come here and again this will be uh, this will become 0 okay that means if you are uh, if you are uh, doing further steps if you are going further then obviously we will uh, we will get 0 only that means this steps this sequence terminates here okay then we will take n equal to 1 that's uh, that implies a1 equal to 1 into 1 minus 1 equal to get 0 and if you are finding out a square uh, a square on 1 that is equal to 0 into 1 minus 2 whatever this one that is equal to 0 okay that means this terminates here if you are finding a cube on 1 we will get again 0 that means this uh, uh, with this value of n equal to 1 the sequence will terminate here and if I am taking n equal to 2 the sequence will terminate at a cube 2 equal to 0 the sequence will terminate here okay and uh, now let me find out the value of what are the possible values of n okay n I can write as uh, I can write as uh, n n n okay inner product of n and n operating on n that is equal to 
if I am doing this one, if I am doing n over n, this will, uh, this will give this result n over n equal to n n and this is the eigenvalue that means n into inner product of n. Okay, and inner product of n equal to inner product of n equal to 1, so the remaining term should be n. That is, uh, that is the way which n have written here. Okay, and that is equal to n this uh, number operator we have defined a dagger a on n. Okay, this I can write as that is equal to uh, that is equal to bra n a dagger into ket a n. Okay, that means the inner product of a n, the inner product of a n, and we have solved, we have studied earlier that inner product of uh, uh, inner product of some ket should be greater than or equal to zero. So obviously n should be this is n, the n should be greater than or equal to zero. Okay, that means the first step, the first operation which I have done is invalid or doesn't make any sense because n should be positive or zero. And another question will arise now. Uh, can we take a non-integer? Okay, a non-integer. Uh, for example, uh, I'm taking a non-integer n equal to half. Okay, the first step is if I'm finding the a uh, finding the operation a n, then this will provide a half equal to under root half uh, get one uh, get half minus one. That will uh, that will be equal to under root half get minus half. Okay, if I'm finding a square on uh, a square half, that means a into a half a half uh, a into uh, a operating on half. We have already found that under root half into minus 1 by 2. That means under root half into a operating on minus half. Okay. So that means in this position, in this operation, annihilation operator is operating on n. In the position of n, here half comes. Okay. In the position of n, here half comes. And we have proved that n should be greater than or equal to 0 and this is invalid if a uh, minus uh, minus value comes inside this kit okay that operation will be invalid so we have to understand if we are taking a non integer whether it's half or uh, whether it's uh, uh, whether it's 3 over 2 or uh, 5 or 4 whatever the values at the particular at the particular step of this sequence uh, this will provide a negative a negative ket okay a negative ket negative value for n negative value for n okay that should not be allowed according to this uh, proof according to this proof the negative values of n uh, cannot be allowed so the a sequence will terminate at n equal to zero and it can have positive integers 1 2 3 etc so uh, we have uh, we have uh, proved that or we have concluded that the values the allowed values of n equal to 0 1 2 3 etc okay you know the energy eigenvalue equation e n equal to n plus half h cross omega okay because of the smallest possible value of n equal to 0, the ground state energy of harmonic oscillator E0 equal to 0 plus half 0 plus half h cross omega that is equal to half h cross half h cross omega. This is the ground state energy of uh, simple harmonic oscillator and we can understand at the ground state also it has some energy the energy is not equal to zero at the ground state of simple harmonic oscillator it's an important result and uh, you should keep in your mind okay